To make the cart, I'm going to begin with my 250 GSM card. In this instance, I'm going to use plain card, but you could use the printed wood patterns from the CD-ROM, or indeed any colour pattern that you like to work with. Lay the template down, and you should be able to get both panels. And the first thing we're going to do is create the box that makes the cart. So I'm going to draw around the outside here of my cart there. It may help just to pop a little bit of tape to hold it down. Um, we've got this line in here, that's going to be a cut line. And then we work with the flap line there, a centre line here. And this centre line carries across there. And we have this, which is the little fold line there. Ignore everything else, that will come apparent later on. So we're going to end up with our basic shape looking like that. So the next thing to do is go ahead and then cut it out. And I've got my one here. And we need, as I said, to make two of these. So once you've done that, your next stage is just to use a ball tool or a scoring tool, and we'll just score and make the folds there. And again, I'll just bring in to shot now the two that I've gone on and made like so. So that's our basic to make the box, and it's, it's a regular sort of popping box. I've gone ahead now and just scored and folded this. So the next thing to do is actually pop the box together. And for that, I would recommend definitely a wet glue. And I'm just going to fold the tab back here and pop my wet glue on it. This edge here is the most important one. Well, really, they're all important, but that one there is the one that you have to work with. Then I line this up like so. There should be a little bit of gap. Now, a handy hint here, if you're using a cutting mat, just line everything up roughly there with your cutting mat, so you know that both of those are level. Pull that across and then just get that into position. Nice thing with the wet glue, you can allow it just to move a bit. And there we go. So to let that dry, the next thing to do is just work on the flaps here. So I'm going to pop my glue right the way across there now. and just pull that over one, two, three, like so. And we'll just let that dry for a second. And when that's dried, we're ready just to complete the box. And that's a case of pulling this part over to here and then folding to there like so. So at this point, a little bit of waste card under there. I'll just simply glue tab here line that up get some deeper creases in there and just pull that piece over and again just give that a few seconds just to dry nicely and then we can pull this part through and into the rest of the box so again a little bit of glue on there Coming up to that leading edge, because that then holds it into position. I've pulled that through. And there we go. That's our basic box shape, ready and made. The next thing to do is actually stick these ledges down. Now I would do the two end ones first, and then decide where the handles are going to be, and then just half glue this. So I'm going to check which way this wants to fold and instantly I can see that seems to be the slightly easier way. So I'm going to have my handles sticking out the back here. It doesn't really matter which side you put them on. So for now I'm just going to glue these two down first of all. And these are just decorative by the way. It just makes the cart look a little bit more realistic, gives it a little bit of strength but it also holds the handles in position as well pop that down like so and because I've got to stick those into position there but at this point I don't want to put them in because we're still working with the box what I tend to do is just to get that flap out the way and this is purely up to you you can glue it at the end but for now I'm only going to pop half a bit of glue on there just to you can see it'll just pull it up and leave that bit just sticking up a little bit there like so 
and just do the same on the other side. Remember, of course, that's the opposite side there, so about halfway. It just tucks it out of the way, and then later on, we can glue and just come back and sort that out. Okay, that's the box ready. Now we've got inserts to go in there, but they're not going to go in just yet. We're going to build the rest of the carp. The two inserts will go in either side of it. So we're going to leave that for the moment, but our two uprights look like this. So the next thing to put on now are our two uprights, and they look like this, and this is what the template looks like. So again, simply draw around it and create your two shapes here and then cut them out. Now what I've done, is just to remember here, is that we're coming down from the top of there to this line down here. If I show you, if I just pop this one over on top, you can see what's happening. And then we have a cut line here so we can fold this in half. Then a fold line there. So, ready for gluing, what we're going to do in fact, try not to score if you can. There's a line here, but we want to keep that straight if we can, because that gives us our strength. So, glue this top part. It looks like an arrow. That comes over and down like so. And then we're ready just to lift this part up and glue that in. So, nice bit of wet glue in there. Come down and glue that. Let that hold for a second. This is going to be the mechanism that supports the canopy but twists it as well. And just neaten up everything if you want to like that. Again, as I said, this is kind of buried away up in the canopy. Uh, so it, it's not too critical. But let those dry. Then they're ready to actually attach to the cart with our two uprights made and ready. We can glue those into position here. They're just going to sit like so. So you maybe want to just line it up with a little pencil mark and that way we can glue to that point. So with our wet glue just come in, put plenty on there and offer that up into the box here. We want this to be halfway along. So I'm just going to do this roughly by eye. If I just show you there, you can see it's stuck in. Um, if you want to as a guide, it can go straight to the bottom or you can just come up a little bit. What we don't want it is sticking out beyond the box. When that's in position there, you can just hold it down and glue it. Now before you start, if you want as a visual guide, you could measure and just drop a little line in. So that's um, 48. So we'll do that at 24 mil there it just gives you a little guideline but to be honest just near enough is good enough on that and again we'll just glue and measure so pop that into there draw a little pencil line and from that pencil line there i can just put my wet glue on and then this is going to sit into the box like so just hold that into position. That's my halfway line, so I can come along. See, that's pretty accurate. Now, again, I'm going to use my cutting mat here and just line everything up and try and get these vertical if you can while the glue's wet. You know, just there or thereabouts, that's fine. Hold it for a few seconds, let that thoroughly glue. While that's gluing, we'll pop that to one side and come back to this template here because we've now got to put the cross part over and that's the support and if you look here out on the template and it's probably hard to see it on the camera but you'll have an s and an s and an s and an s there that's the length of the support this support runs across the length of the box so if i just show you on a piece of card here again we'd be using 250 gsm card so when i draw this pop it down and again I'd recommend a little bit of tape just to hold everything into position that way you don't have to concentrate too much holding the template down like I'm doing now it'll just make life a little bit easier and neater for you draw my cross line in there and that line in there and we've got our two lines across there this point 
we then move the template round and we line up this part here with those lines there and that gives us the exact length and we'll see it matching in that part of the template again just draw around it pop a little bit of tape on if you want to hold it into position and it looks like so the next thing to do is to cut that out and we're going to fold and crease along here and down there so if i show you the one that i've made it looks like that ignore these little lines here you won't get that on yours you don't have to worry about cutting those out that's actually a guide for later so that's what it looks like here so the next thing to do is just glue this and this support's going to go across so you don't have to be too accurate with your gluing i'm simply going to fold that over like so and again just hold it down and allow it just to set with the glue just to grab give that a couple of seconds and then we just fold back the two ends here like so they are going to now go onto our cart so i bring my cart here and just square that up you can see now that's going to fit in like so and that gives us the part that holds the canopy in place so without further ado it's gluing time now you can either glue if you want to these parts first and then put this on or you can go vice versa so it's it's up to you i think uh, for me i'm going to glue these because i know this is the bit that's going to touch so a little bit of glue on there and what i've done is just folded the cart in half like so just to really to, to make this a little bit easier for me so i can just place the first one into position here line that up squeeze it into position and that will line up with my initial arrow there and now we've got our other one there so at this point a little bit of card underneath a bit of waste card and i'll just glue that part again the nice thing with this it'll all find its own way and if I pull that back, that will go into position like so. So I'll just hold that there and let it find its own way. So if I'm not quite square there, it, it doesn't matter too much. But that wants to be able to lie flat. The important thing is that we line this up where we can with the top there. So ideally, when this is gluing, um you perhaps want to go a little bit quicker just gently rest that one on then that one and let them find their way wiggle it into position and that will then all straighten up nicely for you don't worry if it doesn't perfectly line up we can always trim a bit off but we do need that just to be able to move now if you remember i've got my movement on the cart which likes going that way and we can see that does just move perfectly so i'm very very happy with that okay that's all in position and the canopy itself is just going to sit on the top and if i can just bring one in here to show you that i've made earlier on that's going to sit on top of there but it's going to be held in with a couple of bits of paper now before we go ahead and do that i think it's actually easier to build the rest of the cart and the two things to really well that need to go in there are the central supports and they just run across our central supports come from this part of the template here so we can see we've got our two flaps draw along there and it utilizes this end one here so we've got this basic shape that looks like that and you can make one large one and then cut it in half or two small ones because we can then use that in the cart to raise one of them up so i've gone ahead here and just cut one out so i've got a larger one here and just for the purposes of making this i'll just cut this one into two so if i was making a slightly smaller one there's no right or wrong here it just depends how you're going to decorate the cart so if i just oops pop a pencil line there grab my craft knife like so then i'm just simply going to create the little flaps here like that they just help it to glue really they're not they can be done by hand it, it's nothing mathematical and then score 
and fold the tabs upwards. When you've cut these out, you're ready just to score and fold the flaps. Come down a little bit behind the flap, about a millimetre or so. The reason for this is we've built up a thickness on the card and otherwise it'll bow when it goes in there. We want it to be in a fairly tight pull on there, so I tend to come back. When you start making them, you'll begin to get the feel for this, but just come below that initial score line and fold it. And that way when it goes into the cart, it'll be a nice fit. So that's ready to glue, and we'll do the same for the second one as well. So this is now ready to go into the cart, and we're just going to pop it in there, just check the size is okay. Because we've added extra thicknesses of card, what we don't want to do is have that being too too much of a bow shape on it. Not that it really matters, but it's nice just to keep it a little bit taut if we can. So glue the tabs and I glue both of them and then just fit the first one in here and I had to have the tab facing away and towards the inner part of the box there there's no particular right or wrong just how I like to work and again I've used 250 GSM card for this so my first one goes in there like so and I just lightly hold it into position Put that upright, the second one is in position there, then we just fold this flat like so, and that keeps it in, in position to, to glue, and you can see now we've got that nicely in position there. Now you can do exactly the same for the second one, but we can use a larger one in here. If you want to just raise this up, so you've got an image here and a bigger one at the back, but we'll do it in exactly the same way. So here's my uh, second flap, and I've just used the exact template here. It's a little bit larger, so that can stick up a little bit higher. But if we do that, we're gonna have some of these edges showing here. So you can just decide at this point how high up you want it to be. And I would have thought, um, maybe just a, a centimetre or so above. Again, this is just purely subjective. So at this point, I would just pencil mark here and just cut those parts out. So I'm going to come down to here like so and just create my little tab like that. The other method is to um, simply you put two the same shape and when you put your objects on just put them higher up so but I just wanted to show you this it's just another alternative um, so fold that there and that's going to glue and go in so again I'll just put my glue on both bits of the tab it's quite important you get close to that fold line as well glued my tabs that's going to come in and again I'll just rest one in there have that sticking up on the side there and just pull it across at this point I'll just pull that one up just to even it up but let the paper find its own way we can see now that that one's sticking a little bit higher up I close that that one's got that little bit of height on there as I said that's just another method of working with it you could have if you wanted to and um, just put the objects on there but you can raise the height of the cart um, you could even have a third one right at the back if you want to but that's all for experimentation so that's our basic mechanism in there the next thing I want to do is pop the legs on and that's made up with the template here which will give us ultimately an L-shaped piece of card so I'm just going to use another piece of my two 50 GSM, line that up there. I'm just cheating using the corner because that's one less cut for me. And that's my fold line there. Then just cut that out. And we'll need to make two of these. So cut there and there. and just score there. That's just a line for where they line up, so you don't need to score that. And then I'll just fold this like so, back in on itself. 
and that is going to fit in to there. And if I do it this way, you'll be able to see the pencil mark and then hide it. So again, at this point, a bit of wet glue across there. And I just line this up like so, and just cover the pencil mark. Just let it lightly tack as I hold it. Remember, we want the paper to find its own way, so I'm just going to pop it down like so as well. Then I know it's in the right place. Can line things up a little bit, but really this has to go where it wants to, so that's ready, and we can make sure that it opens and closes nicely. So I'll do exactly the same for the other side. The popping up mechanism is this part of the template here. I'm just going to rest that onto the card. Again, I cheat a bit and use a corner. That's two less cuts, but that's up to you. And just trace around it. Those are our two fold lines. Another fold or score line in there. And this is where the elastic band goes in. So we just draw that there and simply cut that out. And you get to this stage here. The next thing to do is score it all. So I've put my score lines in there, fold, fold, fold and then just glue the two halves together. Put your glue on there, like so. Now you don't have to be wildly accurate with this mechanism. And I just cut through the card there using my craft knife. You'll probably find it's much easier with a craft knife than a pair of scissors, because you've got to cut this little square out here. So again, I just pop that like so, and just Wiggle that one out. You could do this in two halves. I sort of got so used to making these, but if you want to, you can pre-cut it out and fold it. It doesn't matter if it doesn't perfectly line up, it's just to hold the elastic band. Sometimes it's easier rather than trying to cut through big chunks of card like I've done. So you could go the other method if you want to. There we go. Now I'm going to use a number 18 elastic band. I find it easier before we glue this to actually insert the elastic band in like so and if you want to it's not a bad idea to pop a little bit of tape over there just to hold that in and it makes it a little bit stronger as well and while I'm doing that I'll bring up the other one I've just made here and again pull that apart there and just get that ready into position. Just makes life a little bit easier. And I would recommend just a little bit of cellar tape, bit of masking tape, something just to hold those two edges in, and keep it a little bit stronger. And that, that should work for us. So we're now ready to pop this into the cart and that's going to just run across from one corner to the other. And again, you should find there's a natural fold one way goes better than the other, which we've kind of established at the start, but it can change in the build process. Now there's no right or wrong, I just tend to use that as my pulling angle. And now I'm ready to glue my tabs, so I'll close them, or open them rather, like that, and just pop my glue right the way across, like so. And that's ready to go in. Now when you pop it in, pop it in so it's upside down, i.e. it's trying to fall out, because then it's the right way when it goes in. So I get my corner here, like so, and just slot that into the corner, hold it down, make sure it's not showing, so it's below my line there, and then just squeeze that down and hold it for a second actually hold it for several seconds because you really do want to make sure this is dry before we attach the other end or else it's just going to ping right off at us and we'll have to start again with the gluing process. So at this point just wait, pause, have a cup of tea and give it five, ten minutes or so just to dry and then we're going to come back and glue the other end and pop that in. Everything seems to have been drying off nicely there so I'm ready to pop the next one in and I'll just pop a little bit of glue on here. Now, just before I pop this in, I'm going to just say to you, I'm just chatting about this while it glued. Um, it put a bit of tape across to hold it, but just do it on one, well, or wait till afterwards, because you may want to change the elastic band, because the, not all elastic bands are made equal. If it's too strong, you may need to um, 
put a different one in from the pack because they do change slightly although this I find tends to work these number 18s tend to work so I'm going to now just pull this back and then just slot it into the next corner here without making too much of a dog's dinner of it now because it's under pressure I've got to just hold it if you can whoops see it just goes into there and again hold it with my finger and begin to just hold the whole mechanism like so that's quite a tight elastic band that one but I'll let that dry give it a few seconds and boom up it pops so we can see that's all in position now with everything dry we're now ready to pop our cartwheels on and you can do these in a couple of ways you'll have a die to create these um, you can do them as a double thickness if you want to just make them a little bit stronger um, I'm just going to use a single one at the moment and I'm just going to drop a little bit of glue on there or you could put even a foam pad and just hold it into position so it's slightly away and I'm going to drop some glue now onto my wheel here just to hold it into position but not all the way to the base because it just sits three quarters of the way now I think and this is just a serving suggestion it comes down a little bit lower and just sticks slightly out that end there and at this point I'm going to use my cutting mat if I just show you here line up the leg there and just get the wheel so it's it's square on hold that there a little bit of pressure and just glue it into position so now that wheel and that leg line up so it should be nice and straight and then flip it over and do the same again for the other side there so uh, just a little bit on the first quarter of the cartwheel there and then just pop these on the spokes rest it into position line it up Bring the cart over, line up that wheel, that leg, and this wheel, and again just have it, you could even mark there so you know exactly how far out you're coming. Just pop that down there, let it glue, there we go, that's our cartwheels into position, I said we could even put foam pads if you want them to stand up in a way, um, so everything's really getting ready for that final final part and just to put the canopy on now let me just show you the canopy on our template here just bring that into shot and you'll notice that uh, there's etched in and again it's really hard to pick this up on the camera but there's a, a C there and a C there that's above the tab line there running there that means it's the canopy and if I just pop it on to a piece of paper here Again, I'm just going to line mine up with the edge because that's two less cuts for me to make. And I'll just pop a pencil line in there and there and come down to this line, inner line here. And that's my centre line. Pop that in there like so. And then the next stage will be to use the die to cut the edges so it looks like this like so now if you want to you can make two different sizes of canopy and do two different things that makes a smaller one if you want to make a bigger one just flip that over on the piece of card here what I tend to do again I'm just going to line up on the corner but I'm going to use this half here so I'm going to go center line and across to my line which says C for canopy flip it over line up with the center line again I can see it which is about there pop that into there and then just come down here and that will give me a bigger canopy if you can see like so again I can use the die to cut it and create the shape that I want there if you make a slightly larger one something you can do I'll just come back here and just show you it's just an added little feature no right or wrong, no real measurements. I just drop down possibly about a centimetre, 12 millimetres, put a score line in. Just really could do with two rulers for this part. Oops. And just fold that 
in on itself and have a little sort of ridge like so. So when the canopy comes down, you've got this, it's going to fold flat in the envelope, but this will give a little bit of an extra look to it as well. Let's take your time on that. I'm just rushing slightly, but you can see now we can add an extra sort of curve on it. Um, that sometimes works better with the large one. It's really up to you. Now, if you're working with the CD-ROM as well, you'll have a coloured version. It's just something I've knocked up to show you here as well. Now, the canopy is going to sit on the top here, and that gives us our lovely finishing touch. But we have to attach it to here. And this is the clever bit, because we've got to allow this to move. And then these here become the mechanism which actually opens up the canopy. So it's back to our stencil here and I'll just draw it here and show you. What we use for that is this part here and to our notch like so. You need to make two of these and then a centre line there like that. So draw it out, fold line, it's a little square and it looks like this and we make two of these like so and they're going to fit onto the top of our canopy support here which is this bar that runs across so at this point again we flatten it down now i just again no right or wrong but i like to put it where it's not even going to to sort of jam slightly so i line up here and i'm just going to glue it and just within and beyond the mechanism there. Now before I do that one thing I suggest that you do is you fold this backwards and forwards a couple of times just so it's it's nice and floppy <laughs> so you, it's because we want the roof to lift and, and, and pull nicely so at this stage I'm going to simply glue one side of it here like so put my canopy down I oh, sorry pop my cart down there line it up and just pop it on that side there like so and then flip it over and do exactly the same on the other side so glue my tap there and pop that down whoops it's going to go that away this time and just line it up like so you could play around with the position this is just something that i found seems to work it, um, there's no right or wrong, and there we go. So those two look like that. And so they just sit there, and the canopy fits on top. Now for the canopy, I would suggest 120 GSM, or even 90 GSM paper, 100 GSM, um, probably better. And again, do this method, I'll just pop that to one side. Glue everywhere. I'm a messy worker, um, so that it folds nicely. It's it needs to come out. Now we're going to fold this flat in the envelope, but a little bit of creasing helps. <coughs> at this point, we're ready then to fit it on there. So I think the best thing to do at this point is that I glue the two tabs here. Lots of glue on there and there. You notice it's one either side. That's all we do to hold it on. get this down onto my board there find my natural folding position which is here tuck that one in underneath and I'm just trying to do it half way along just measuring by eye so it's roughly there so I'm doing the first part first and then holding the roof down on there and just hold that like so and allow that to dry. Make sure it's not sticking where it shouldn't be, that that folds and flaps. Now as we open up the cart, those two bits pull round from the side and open the cart. This will be flattened down a little bit in the envelope. It's a natural spring which we want because we want that to come up and be our cart like so. There we go, we're nearly there. The last thing to do is pop in the two handles because we've left that slightly unglued. The handles are made using our template again and that was the shape in here. So it's a simple case of drawing around there 
and then cutting that out. And again, you'll need two of those. There we go. We've got a handle here. Now remember, I'm, I'm doing all this in white, white card. If you're working from the CD, you've got some lovely woods. You can mix and match with different colours. You can do all sorts of exciting things with this. I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue under the flat here because I want that to glue down on top of it. And I'll just simply slide my handle in. And this is just really, t there's no right or wrong, roughly to about there. Pop it in, just hold the glue and then come back and do the other side as well. There's nothing to stop you popping the handle on top, I suppose, but I just thought this was a nice way that it kind of all fits in. So again, I'll just run a bit of glue in, in there. Pick up my handle. I'll just have that sitting, sitting under there, squeeze everything down. And let it dry. Line everything up there and we can see now we've got our lovely cart. Now there'll be one view so I imagine, I mean this again is up to you, you can either put flowers, anything that you like in there. But that's how our pop-up cart comes together. Like so. So I find perhaps a little paper clip holding it all together. Then we can pull that down with a little bit of ribbon and up it springs as it comes out the envelope for the person receiving it. Now you can decorate this with whatever you want. Uh, flowers, uh, which we've got look lovely as a flower cart. We've got sweets like a candy cart. Um, you can put tools on it. On the CD there's different backgrounds and colours uh, for you to work with as well. So it's, the nice thing about this is it's adaptable to the person. If they love football, change the colour of the stripes if you want to, put different colours on, use the black and white version, colour it in by hand, put some little football shirts on there. It's a lovely, lovely project that you can adapt to the person receiving it. And there we go. I hope you have fun with this and enjoy your crafting. Take care. Bye-bye.